Hi everyone, I just want to quickly tell you about what I do to protect the whites of the paper. Now we all know I've got a piece of paper which I put my hand on, kind of stop any natural oils off the palm of your hand or the side of your hand going on the watercolour paper, because that acts like a wax resist, so you don't want to do that, otherwise you can't get the paint in that area. Um, so protect the watercolour paper initially with a piece of paper, but also is to cover the background, because the problem as you know, I'm sure you've realised this and it's probably happened to you, because when you haven't got a background on there, or even when you have got a background already painted on there, you pick up your paint, you take it along to your painting and it drips and you think no, no, not again. And if it's a staining colour, I know it's not easy to get off. So to prevent that happening, what you can do, you can print off the image if you've not already done that, cut out the centre and pop a little bit of printing paper over the top. Cheap and cheerful, that's all it is, but a couple of little tacks of tape and job done. And the good thing about that, you can just manoeuvre it around wherever you want it to go. So you want to paint things like whiskers in that kind of thing you can do. So that's one way of doing it. And the other way is exactly the same method, but this time using a little bit of tracing paper, which is this here, look, that's all it is. So I'll pop into the cheapy shops out there, especially the children's section, a little tip there for you, and see what you can find, just to protect the white of the paper or the background painting that you've already got on there. So there you go, that gives some ideas what I do to protect the paper. See you again soon. Bye bye for now.